Today we talked about differentials and how we can use this idea of differentials to approximate certain values. So for example, square root 27, if we want to get an approximation of this, we know it's going to be about 5, but we want to figure out uh, a good approximation other than saying about 5. So we use this idea of, uh, of this tangent line at x equals 25. Because at 25, the square root of 25 is 5, right? So that's a nice whole number output. We can draw this tangent line. And what we can do is we can go along this tangent line and figure out what point is on the tangent line at x equals 27 because that'll be a really close approximation, right? If we look at the line, it's really close to the curve here, right? So it'll be a good approximation of what square root 27 is. So what we say is, well, we know the answer is going to be at least 5, right? So it's, it's at least 5 because... We go up 5 for square root 25. We need to figure out how much more we go up. So it's 5 plus some small change in y, right? We want to figure out what that dy is. Well, it's helpful to look at square root 27 as 25 plus 2, right? And that's about equal to 5 plus dy. Well, we think of this 2 as a small change in x, right? So that's our little change right here. If you watch this uh, little cursor, right? We change a little bit by 2. We want to figure out how much that affects us in the y direction using our tangent line. So if we think of this 2 as being dx, and we're trying to solve for dy, well, the function we're working with is square root x, right? So dy dx is equal to 1 over 2 root x. Okay, but we know dx. We know dx is equal to 2. And we know x in this case because uh, what's, our, what's our x value that's closest to the whole number? It's 25, right? So if we know that d, dx is equal to 2, and then we know that we're plugging in x equals 25, we get 2 root 25. Okay, well then simplifying dy over 2 equals 1 over 10, so dy equals 2 over 10, which is 1 fifth. Okay, so dy is 1 fifth. So we know that our approximation is going to be 5, about 5, plus that little bit of change that we just found, dy. So this is about equal to 5 plus 1 fifth, which is, adding these fractions, not so bad. Right? One, one fifth is uh, 0.2, so let's do it in two different ways. 25 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 26 over 5. Okay, which we can also think of it as being 5 plus 0.2, right? So we should actually just use equal signs here because, yeah, okay, so 5, 5 plus 1 fifth is equal to 26 over 5, which is also equal to 5.2. That's our final answer. So that's our approximation. Uh, one sec, let's see what the actual answer is. Okay, there it is. If you actually do square root 27, it's 5.196. But I don't know how to do that in my head. I do know how to do this math down here in my head. So that's the power of differentials. If we can use calculus, if we can use this tangent line, we can get approximations of numbers like this uh, doing fairly simple math as opposed to trying to do something like square root 27 without using a calculus. Uh, now, why is this useful? Well, we'll look at some application problems. That's going to be the next video. Uh, this doesn't necessarily seem applicable unless we apply it to something. So uh, that's, that's what's coming next.